Welcome to Learning Access. In this video, we'll cover the essential concepts of HTML elements, HTML inline elements, and HTML block elements. What are HTML elements? An HTML element consists of an opening tag, content, and a closing tag. Here is a quick example. The H1 tag wraps around the text, hello world, and P wraps around the paragraph. This is how HTML elements give structure to a web page. Let's discuss about inline elements. An inline element stays on the same line with other elements and only takes up as much space as necessary. Some common examples include span tag, a tag, and strong tag. Let's see a visual example. Here, three boxes representing span, a, and strong, appear side by side, showing how inline elements stay on the same line without breaking. Now, let's see block elements. Block elements take up the full width available and push the following content to the next line. Some common block elements are div, p, and h1. Let's see the example. As you can see, each block element starts on a new line, creating larger sections on the web page. Now, let's see the key differences between inline and block elements. First, inline elements don't take up the full width, they only occupy the space needed for their content. In contrast, block elements stretch across the full width of their container. Next, inline elements do not start on a new line which allows them to flow within paragraphs or text. On the other hand, block elements always start on a new line and push other elements down. Lastly, you'll frequently see tags like span, a, and image used as inline elements for small pieces of content. Block elements like div, p, and h1 are more appropriate for organizing larger sections. Use block elements to divide the page into sections, like headers or paragraphs. Use inline elements to style parts of a line, such as links or emphasized words. Now let's see these elements in action. I'll create a simple HTML page using both inline and block elements. In this example, the h1 and p tags are block elements, each appearing on a new line. The span and strong elements are inline, staying within the same line as the text around them. To practice these topics, open the description and click the relevant link. Read the detailed explanation on the page. Scroll down to the bottom. And try it yourself using the live editor. That's it for today's video. Now you know the difference between inline and block elements and how to use them effectively. 